Hello everybody, welcome to Scotty the Trainer Tuesdays. I am Scotty the Trainer. Thank you very much for taking some time out of your day to join me here. So today I want to develop this thought, this idea about what voice, what voice is speaking into your life? What voice is speaking into your life? Now, not what voices do you hear in your head, that's for another video and another time. We certainly can't tackle that here today. But what voice is speaking in your life? Everybody has a voice that leads them either down the right road or a wrong road to make a good decision or a bad decision. So let me build the premise for you. Let's say that my kids are playing outside and I say to them, okay, listen, you could play out here in the yard. You can play tag, you can throw the ball, you can uh, wrestle, you can do whatever you, you want to do. But I want you to stay in the yard. Don't go into the street and certainly don't go across the street. Now, after I give them that instruction, I then go into the house. And so now my kids are left alone. They're out there playing and they also hear dad's voice don't go into the street do not go across the street all right so let's take it a little step farther okay so let's say that one of their friends right comes bebopping down the street and says hey guys want you meet me over here at the so-and-so's house and they say oh well where's that at well, what you got to do is you got to leave your yard, you got to cross the street, and then go down three houses, and I'll meet you there. Now, the children have a choice, don't they? They decide to either follow the voice that was spoken to them and is speaking to them, even though I'm not there. I could be in the house, I could be upstairs, I could be in the backyard, I could be down the street. But my voice is still speaking to them. Don't go in the street. Don't go across the street. Stay in the yard. Now they have a choice. Do we listen to the voice? Or do we break away from what the voice said? And do we follow another voice, another voice of our friends saying, come on, follow me down the street. Come on, let's go down here to so-and-so's house. That's their choice to decide which voice it is that they want to follow. Now, let's bring that to you and me today. What voice do you hear in your life? Make a quick adjustment there. What voice do you hear in your life? What voice is it saying to you? When somebody says, like my kids, why can't you go across the street? Dad said not to. Dad has reasons. Dad doesn't trust us to go into the street. Or he might trust us, but he doesn't trust the crazy drivers that might come riding down there and hit us. He doesn't want anything to happen to us. So dad's looking out for us. So we can trust the voice of dad because dad is always looking out for us. But there are some voices that are in our life that are keeping us contained and keeping us bound and it's not looking out for us. There are people today that are not going any farther than where they are right now because there are voices that are speaking in their life that told them a long time ago they would never be a, a better person. They never could do anything better. So let me ask you, wherever you are and whatever you're doing, who told you you would never be successful? Who told you you could never own your own business? Who told you you'd be a terrible mother? Who told you you'd be a horrible father? Who told you you'd always be a drug addict or uh, uh, an alcoholic? Who told you you were going to crash and burn? What voice is it 
that you still are hearing in your life that's holding you down? What voice is it that's saying to you, you never go any farther than where you are right now? What voice is that that's still speaking in your life? Whose voice was it? And let me ask you the next question. Why do you give it so much weight in your life? Now, let's go back to my children. My children give weight to my voice because they know what will happen if they don't follow the rules. They know that. So my voice carries weight. How much weight does that voice carry in your life right now? You know, I remember speaking at a function one time and afterwards happened to be a, 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 a church setting. And then afterwards, a man came up to me and I was talking along the lines of breaking out, breaking out of the chains, breaking out of the things that hold you down, uh, challenging the status quo, going beyond today. And this man comes up to me afterwards and he's talking to me and he says, everything you said inspired me. It motivated me. It, it ignited something within me. I really want to do more than I am. But my father, my father told me that I came from a line of losers. My father was a loser. Couldn't hold a job. This is what he was telling me couldn't hold a job. He told me I'd never be able to hold a job and I'd never be able to do anything. Now he was talking to me and I was taking it as if his father was, you know, nearby, maybe even came with him or, or, or lived close by. And I said to him, I said, man, uh, how old is your father? He goes, oh, it doesn't matter. My father died 10 years ago. Whoa, 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 huh? Think about that. A man said something, and he's been dead 10 years. His body is buried. The man is dead, but his voice held that guy down. I told him, I said, brother, let me tell you something. You are alive and you are well here today. Whatever your father said and whatever power your father had over you died when he was buried 10 years ago. It's time for you to start listening to a different voice. Don't give him that much weight. Just because he failed and never did anything doesn't mean that you have to fail. Where is this mentality that because someone in your family was a convict, you got to be a convict? Where's this mentality because everybody in your family was divorced, you got to be divorced? Where's that rule written at? Let me tell you something. The greatest day of your life is when you decide that if the voices that you're hearing right now from your past are holding you down, you can break out of that and start hearing a different voice. Now, let's go back to my kids. The friend comes and says, oh, you can come on out in the street. But they don't listen to that because that voice carries no weight. The voice they listen to is the voice that carries weight in their life. I am convinced we have given too much weight to the voice that is trying to hold us down. I'm tired of people being told that they can't make it and they can't do something with themselves. I'm tired. I don't care if it's from the religious world where the religious world is condemning people because they're not the way the religious world wants them to be or because other people are not acting the way they think those people should act. It's time for you and it's time for me to decide what voice in our life are we going to listen to? I'm going to tell you something. I hear voices in my life telling me I could be more than what I am. If I 
had listened to the voices that were in my past, there would not be a Scotty the trainer today. I built Scotty the trainer. I took him from the dirt and raised him up and gave him a voice and put him out there. There's a whole lot of trauma. There's a whole lot of scrapes, scars, and scares that I've been through. And I have just begun to share those things with you and anyone else that'll listen. But if I listen to the voices that were in my life, I will shut my mouth and not say anything. But you know what? I've decided those voices have no weight. You need to do the same thing and you need to start right now. So I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you today. You can grow beyond where you are. You can do more than what you have. You don't have to stay in that abusive situation. You don't have to be beat down and you don't have to walk around feeling like you're a worm or garbage or less than. The universe didn't put you here. God didn't create you. You're not here by accident. You were not placed here to be the world's punching bag or the world's soccer ball so it could kick you around. It's time for you to rise up and realize the voice in your life that you need to listen to is the voices that are telling you there's more than what you have here today. So what voice is in your life? Whose voice is it? Why do you give it so much weight? And if it's not sending you in the right direction, it's time to get a new voice. Use mine. My voice is telling you today, you're better than what you think you are. And by the way, I've seen you in the future and you look a whole lot better than you do right now. I'm Scotty the trainer and that's how I see it.